Definitely one of the most used systems on my Jeep is the water system. And uh, here I am filling it up. Uh, I'm in a village here. I'm in Cote d'Ivoire, just near the ocean. And uh, my friend Jules here is doing the hard work for me. So he's pumping here from this community well that's uh, kind of in the middle of this village. And uh, I've got my little water container there on the ground filling up. Um, they tell me the water's good to drink right now as it is. But of course I'm going to filter it because I've got a good filter in the Jeep, so why wouldn't I? And uh, so it's going to take me two or three trips and I'll show you what that looks like. What I've got tucked in here behind the driver's seat, I've got a 12 volt SureFlow RV water pump, which is uh, really hard to see down in here doing its thing. Next to that, I've got this filter with a built-in UV lamp. It's a 0.5 micron filter from Pura UV. And so right now the water is being pumped up my suction hose, through the pump, through the filter, and then into the tank. And uh, what I've also got here is a little depth gauge. So I push the button here, and in real time here now, this gauge is updating. So there, I've just passed 90% full on my water tank. So uh, I'm getting close to full right now. And then when she's full, I switch a few ball valves over, and then that'll turn the whole system so that instead of pumping up the suction hose into the tank, it'll pump from the tank out the tap at the back. And uh, the tank is about 13 gallons, so this is gonna take about six or seven fills of my bucket there, and then my water tank will be full. And uh, so this is something I've been doing about twice a week now for the whole trip. The water tank has been amazing. And uh, these, are the, these are the kind of places that I fill up at. You can see here, I'm just sort of in the middle of this little village. Really, really friendly people, happy to have me fill up my water here, which is amazing. The water tank itself is mounted under the Jeep. Uh, it's between the drive shaft and the frame rail opposite the gas tank. It's really, really hard to see. This is it here. I've got a skid plate on it. And uh, so it's really hard to see, but yeah, it's well protected. I've dragged it on the ground a few times and so far no problems. And uh, I'm really happy that the weight is down so low and that it's centered between the front and rear axles. I think it's a lot better than if it was way out the back where the muffler usually sits. And of course the whole setup is powered by the two solar panels that I've got on the roof, which right now in the midday sun are making a huge amount of power. Uh, the battery actually was topped off at about 10 o'clock this morning, even though I haven't driven the Jeep for a few days. So I flipped a few ball valves on my system now that I'm full. And uh, have a look here, this is the very back of the Jeep. Here I've got a drinking water tap and a switch to turn on the pump. So after I've turned the tap on, I turn the switch on and the pump is now pulling the water out of the tank, back through the filter in the UV lamp and then out of this tap. And so running water is a nice thing to have when you're in Africa. And just like that, I have double filtered, double UV treated water straight out of a well in rural Africa. It's great. If you want to build a system like this in your own four wheel drive, you can check out the write up that I did on my website. All the details, all the instructions are there. And I hope it works as well for you as it worked for me.